Hello, greetings, Sat Nam. I'm Robert Halley, and I will be your guide for this Kundalini Yoga Kriya. This is a Kriya for relaxing, which will come later, <laughs> but mainly for releasing fear. So maybe you have something to bring to your altar of what you would like to release. One of the most simple truths of spirituality of inner outer work is, are you in love or are you in fear? So this is something to always dance with day to day. And thankfully today we get to breathe and move with this dance of fear, love and ease in the body temple. Like all physical practices, especially Kundalini, please modify, I'll speak to some modifications, but know the difference between pain and sensation. You want sensation, not pain. And have that discernment with your mind. When is it time to stop, take a break? You can slow down, you can find new, neutral and then come back in. Because a lot of these kriyas are for quite a few minutes. So you can flush organs, meridians. So you can really target <clears throat> stories, associations. So please be brave. I don't know what my experience will be like. I'll do my best <laughs> to be the guide. But just all of that is your discernment. You can always lie down. You're here to breathe. And then you jump back in. There are some Gurumukhi mantras and prayers and songs, part of the Kundalini tradition. And I will share some of the symbolism. What's cool about culture, and you don't always need to know, like there's the essence of a language or a song and it just comes through on a conscious, super conscious level. So roll with it. Bravo for being here. I will be your mirror. So when I lift my hand, it's the same as you, your left hand. Other than that, long side of the mat towards me, any props to help with your cushions of the bones. And let's dive in. I will be playing a song throughout the practice that helps to liberate guilt and fear. Solfeggio soundscapes. Here we go. Find a comfortable seat. Cross-legged. To tune in. You may want to sit on something to lift the sits bones or use your hands to pull away the muscles. Rock right to left, forward to back. Play with gravity. Remind yourself you're here. This moment is real. Maybe you circle. Find some length in the lower back. Almost like you are carving out. You're carving out a section of time and space in your day to have an experience. 10 more seconds of intuitive movement. Notice when ears are over shoulders, over hips. Let's reinforce that. Breathe in, shoulders up. Breathe out, together and down. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, together and down. Feel the heart open. I am ready to do this work. A few more on your own. Beautiful. Breathe in, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, chin parallel to the ground. Open and close your jaw. Inhale, hands to your temples. Exhale, circle. Swipe your cheeks down. Swipe your cheeks down on the exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Soothe yourself. When the face is relaxed, the body follows. Rub your hands together. Whether you warm them up 
whether you stimulate the meridians, the nerves, heels, center palms over the eyes, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, slowly, energetically wash, soothe, nurture your faith. Open the face from the third eye, forehead, temples, jaw. A few more times. Maybe you take it into hair. Up and around, side of neck and down. Cleansing the moments before this fresh moment in time. Hands meet in prayer. Anjali Mudra, your divine offering, thumb to sternum. Your tuning in mantra is Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. We chant this three times to bridge the golden bridge from our hearts to all the gurus, teachers, students with the roots in India and other parts of South Asia. We tap into the teacher within as well for your own discernment and experience of all that comes up. Collectively, we support each other, but at the end of the day, it's always you with you, you with your universe. Breathe in. Let it go through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale to tune and tone. Oh. Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Breathe in, breathe out. Sandwich the hands over the heart and let's swipe down. Inhale, arms up to the heart. Exhale, swipe down. We want to digest the fears that linger in the heart, the fears that are thoughts that are not even true. There's an acronym for fear, false evidence appearing real. So many tricks. But at the same time, if you feel the fear, it's real in that moment. So we're not gonna Avoid that, but we can transform it. Let's go into our warm ups. Inhale, diagonal left arm up, right arm down, stretch. Exhale in and twist, twist, twist. Inhale, right arm diagonal, left arm down. Exhale, give yourself a hug and then just a light twist, twist, twist. Continue. Some creative warm ups before the Kriya. Maybe you fall to gravity. So it's lengthen, sustain like a balloon, stretch your fingers. Exhale, oh, a magnet. Two more each side. to the top of thighs, breathe out, just gently stroke them to the knee. Let's do a movement pranayam. So inhale, the fingers graze back to the groaring hip flexor. Exhale to the knee, slow, ujjayi breath. Let's take a mindful minute. 
In through the nose, air to the bottom of the lungs, hands to the hips, exhale through your nose, hands to the knees. Three part breath, in, air to the bottom of lungs, chest expands and lifts. Exhale, chest down, navel back, enjoy. Bridging mind, body, and breath. The hands on the thighs remind you to get out of the mind and into the body. We bring it down. Raise your palms, exhale, find stillness in the hands. Breathe natural, a normal ebb and flow that is lengthened. Palm, imagine that your palms are also nostrils. Can you feel the sensitivity and breathe prana, life, love through the palms? Thus, through all the nerves, veins, arteries, and meridians. It is this breath that will support any fears that come up, any exhaustion, any stories. Keep breathing. And know that thus too will pass. Your body, your breath, affect the mind, affect the stories. And so when any Kriya exercise gets a bit much, simply breathe or maybe walk around and jump back in. Breathe in. Breathe out, blink your eyes. Let's continue some more creative warm ups. Send your legs forward and alternate the knees. I used to say earthquake, but my oh my, there's so much going on in the world. Fingers down by the hips, create some movement in the knees. Of course, we can dedicate our practice to any places and spaces for more resilience. And we always start locally, the grit, the love, the support, because people are always watching. So how do you demonstrate that? Relax your knees down, circulate the knees. I want you to clap rainbows over you. Clapping is another form of smudging to clear the space. Here we go. Clap in front, clap behind. You can lean forward on the back wind. Three, five, seven, nine, ten. Beautiful. Open your legs maybe a little bit wider. Inhale up. Exhale, fall to the left. Spider cat crawl forward. Let your head and chin drop. Crawl all the way to the outer right hip. Inhale, left arm up, right arm up. Really go slow, get into the lateral, get into the lower back, hamstrings. 
three rainbows each side. You inhale up against gravity, you exhale, work with gravity. Inhale, palms kiss, look up. Exhale, lower to the right, other side. Take your time in the lateral before you square off. Inhale, right, left, exhale, stay open towards me and then we bow down and crawl. Inhale up, exhale over. Inhale up, palms kiss. Exhale, lower, bend your elbows while you bend your knees. Inhale, hands outside your hips. Maybe there are fists, lift the seat, fist bones up, send it back two to four inches, lower down. You have more of a lumbar curve. Hug your heels in, gentle bounce. Continue your voyage of flight, flying through thoughts of love, thoughts of fear. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, float forward 45 degrees. And let's swim today. So arms back, lift the torso, exhale, dive forward. Inhale, up, exhale, forward, inhale, continue. Tread water in the deep end, let's go there today. Forward and down, one mindful minute, choose your palms, breathe into hips, lower back, Form that grandmother turtle in the upper back. Breathe in deeply, breathe out, tuck your chin, inhale, walk your hands back, lift the torso, exhale, hands around the knees, close them, send the feet forward a little bit, open, close, open, close, flush the limp, and just bring some more lubrication to your hip socket. Inhale, knees up, exhale, kick them forward. Breathe in, palms kiss. Breathe out to the left, sweep your legs around. Find your cat, cow, table position. Tuck your toes under. Intuitive spine and hips warm up. So maybe do a banana curve right to left. Maybe regular cat, cow, arch the back up. Contract. Forward. Continue. Feel symmetrical. No matter how you slept, how you sit in your work chair. In this moment, you are a perfect symmetrical sculpture. Inhale back to center. Exhale, tuck your toes if they were not tucked. Breathe in, lift the knees, pelvis up. Exhale, find that inverted B. 
Downward dog, pedal your feet. I will give you one mindful minute to play with downward dog, plank, shoulders over hips. Maybe you lower the knees down to lie down. So any version of a cobra or an upward dog if the spine is warm. Maybe into a child's pose. Hips on the heels. This is the mega combo. <laughs> So in your own time, just move through these positions. Your inverted V, downward dog, any version of plank, any version of a upward cobra or upward dog, and a child's pose. 40 seconds for you to play. It's always good to build your intuitive wisdom as well. when you design your own practices without guidance from a teacher. Find yourself into child's pose. Take five mindful breaths, forehead down. A position you can always come back to. Beautiful breath in, lift your head. Breath out, walk the hands back. Tuck your toes, slowly straighten your knees. Chest to thigh, maybe you pull your hands down and rock right to left. Keep the weight in your toes, knees are bent, top of the head down. Slowly sway like a willow tree, right to left, to lift, to stand. All right, everyone, we begin our Kriya to relax and release fear. You're warmed up. <laughs> the first exercise, and again, I'll show the most advanced version but there's modifications. So we are gonna go in a flat back. Your inhale is arch, your exhale is contract. You might wanna have a micro bend in your knees, grab behind the knees to really contract. Inhale, flat back, you can look up. Exhale, contract, it starts now. So this is version one. Version two, of course, is regular cat-cow. Version three, cross-legged, inhale, arch, exhale, contract. So you have three versions to play with. Why are we doing this? Because fear lives in the kidneys. That organ right back there. Maybe even through this practice, you might feel you have to go pee. <laughs> Honor yourself and go release. Or maybe you're called to drink more water. Play with both extremes. Move through any fatigue. But it's also okay to try another lighter version on the floor. Slowly 
slow ujjayi. Four to five seconds in, four to five seconds out. I will allow some silence to process your fear. <laughs> Remember to be the observer. You don't have to attach to limiting beliefs, to annoyances. With Kundalini Kriyas, you have the opportunity to have the repetitive movement to be a deep meditation for you, to unitask, just do the one thing. In a world of a million distractions and information, just do this one thing. Focal point on that lower back, kidney area. Maybe you see your kidneys glowing, working, processing with its miraculous function. Just one more minute. seconds. out together and down <sighs> wiggle your fingers five mindful breaths be the witness forward. Exhale, feet a little wider than hips. Big torso circle. I'll tell you when it's time to switch. Let your breath regulate. So find your own pattern and rhythm. Be as big as you can. If the hamstrings are really tight, 
bend the knees. Again, opening up the lower back, releasing in the hips where a lot of anger, fear is kept. This particular exercise will never go out of style. It's very retro. And it's designed so perfectly for the ball and socket joint. Try to go a little bit faster than you normally would. <laughs> so you can really flush. Look at one point on the floor to not get too dizzy. for yourself. Be brave. Make a conscious effort to inhale and exhale more powerfully. Think about what we're doing. We're releasing fear on a conscious and subconscious level. Inhale up. Exhale, bend your knees, release your hands, wiggle them, breathe in, palms up, palms kiss, breathe out through your mouth, throw it down, hands on the waist, only you know which circle direction you went, other side, other circle direction, maybe start slow, and then you can really get into it knowing that you have some time. <laughs> Be here now. I'm so proud of you. There is no time when you enter sacred time and you're working on your mental, emotional, physical health. That is sacred time that is so valuable. Almost like an altered state of commitment. You work on your human potential. Let yourself get hot or bothered. Your anchor is your breath. Relax your tongue. Big torso circles, big hip circles. The bent knees are an option. It's okay if you sound dramatic with your breath. One minute to go. Always scan your face. If the eyebrows are together, relax them. The jaw is clenched, unclench, widen the tongue. 
Your face affects the body. But you are in control. 30 seconds. seconds you create a vortex to release and receive five four three two inhale stand up blink your eyes exhale palms forward feet under hips beautiful breath in breathe out through your mouth maybe you tone uh, Sit down. Maybe you want something under your buttocks. We have four exercise cross-legged, but of course we can stretch out in between. Cross your legs. <laughs> Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale together and down. We have fists at the heart with the elbows out. You inhale left, exhale right. Keep going. Head stays on the spine, so it may not be a huge twist, but we inhale left for the divine feminine, receptive, compassion, love. We exhale towards the masculine action, often we're doing too much. Wrap it in and out through the nose. This is very cleansing. Close your eyes if it helps you focus. Or eyes open, scanning the horizon. your best, shoulders down, elbows directly right and left, you're more than halfway, again if you have to stop for a moment, you do, and you get right back in. Thirty seconds. center, exhale, relax, palms up. Maybe you even kick your legs forward, be comfortable and breathe. <sighs> Receptive state. Seeing, feeling and allowing everything. Breathe in, breathe out, cross your legs again, your choice if the other leg's in front. Inhale, arms up to a wide V. Exhale, close to a fist. Inhale, open your fingers. Exhale, close to a fist. Keep going. You can go fast or slow. We're here for some time. Do your best. <sighs> Of course, if you have to modify, come down. You have to focus on one hand at a time. But just keep moving through this 
open, receptive finger state and the close. Breathe naturally, powerfully. Shoulders together, shoulder blades together and down your back. <sighs> Strengthen your upper back. It's levator scapula that holds the arms up. We strengthen that way. Maybe your eyes are closed, focused on the tip of your nose or your third eye. Go beyond logic, where your spirit, your energetic being supports you to be brave. Maybe gently leaning back helps you some more. Or maybe leaning forward helps you some more. Play with it. Maybe you lift your head. Oh. <sighs> your fingers are related to your brain. So when you stretch them, bend them, you're stimulating new neural pathways. And in some way, opening for new beliefs. <sighs> it's not a crime to do a little stretch or a range of motion before you get back out there. <sighs> welcome the tears, welcome the sweat. <sighs> Grunting. Ooh. Mm. Okay, final minutes. Ah. Mm. You extend into new versions of you. You extend to the version that is more living in love. You extend in a reality where we collectively are more in love with one another over fear. 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Float it down like it's nothing, palms up. You can relax your legs forward. These little in-between moments, full surrender. But there's more gritty work to do. Breathe into your lower back, to your kidneys. Stretch your lungs. Quick Spider-Man stretch. Breathe in, right arm up. Breathe out, fingers down. Left hand, pull those fingers down. Inhale, bend your elbow. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, maybe stay forward. 
little rainbow arc. Shake, 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 other side. Left palm forward, left fingers down. Gently guide, bend. In, exhale, out. In. Out, maybe you stay out. Little arky arc. Awesome, relax your hands, sip of water if you have it, if you want it. All right, we have fists again, except this time, the thumbs are in, fingers around the thumbs. Got it? Good. All right, everyone, time, time for some serious catharsis. Thumbs are in, fingers around. So inhale, you bring to your heart. You bring the fear to the heart, the limiting beliefs, whatever the heck it is, you bring it to the heart. That's your inhale, because you're holding a safe, compassionate space where all is allowed. Exhale, ain't nobody got time for this. Boom, out, in, out, in, out. Match the breath. We're here for some time. So maybe you're fast now and you're really going through it, but it's okay if you're also... You're gonna move through waves of your fear. Do your best for the teeth not to clench. And maybe the comfortable eyes closed is good. Go for it. Do the work. See what comes up. You can always stay in the love and just be here. Be with your yin, be with your yang, no matter your sex. There is the divine masculine and feminine accessed any moment of the day. If the arms are really, really fatigued, look at this variation, one at a time. Of course, form is important, but what's more important is your integrity to show up and to be worthy and to build the grit and to stay present Keep your heart open. Relax your face, your tongue. Maybe you even find a smile. You have one minute to go. Just one minute. seconds. Ah. 20 seconds. Drop your hands, stay in the fist though, the thumb to the baby toe, man, the fingers over. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. 
out through your mouth. Switch your legs if you want. Keep these thumbs in fists, turn the palms down, arms parallel forward, and now you outwardly circle. Don't worry, it's just a minute. So you circle the shoulder blades with straight arms with those thumbs in a fist. It's just a minute. We've all seen that video of the lion, the leopard that walks. You see their shoulder blades. That's what we want. Big shoulder blade expression. Yes, it's work. Yes, it's linked to the heart. Sometimes you have to show up and feel gritty and feel a bit of tension and pain, but it's worth it. 30 seconds. Try not to bend the elbows. It's just the upper back. If you need to drop an arm, boom, 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 boom. Other side, boom, 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 boom. Boom, when you can do two. 20 seconds. Outward circles, 15. Mm. Mm. We have five, four, three, two. Lower your hands, open them, wiggle them, breathe in. Breathe out. Smile and sway. <sighs> so we're gonna use that same thumb and fingers around, but uniquely, we're standing up. So we are going to stand up. You're gonna take this thumb and fingers around the Thumb side is down, the baby toe, baby finger is up. You're just below your jaw here, and you can have a bit of traction down, almost like you want to do this to yourself. Uh, so keep this here, the elbows are out, and we are going to stand and lower into a crow. So this is inhale, exhale, the weight's a bit forward, you bend down, the heels might come up, Knees over ankles over toes. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And again, it's totally fine. Maybe you're sweaty on your cheeks like how I am. If the, the hands fall off, just place them again. So we want to release tension in the jaw, any fear in the jaw while we flush. The wind gateway of the groin really press into the big toe. Challenge yourself for balance. You are safe. And if the legs are fatigued or you're just not able to today, just bend your knees. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep going. If the arms are too much, don't do the arms. Just keep going. Blush, blush, show up. The metaphor, you rise to love, you might fall to fear, but you're gonna rise again. There's that beautiful quote. Fall seven times, stand eight. The billions of people on the planet that have overcome fear, it's powerful, it's possible. Press the big toe mound down. That's your balance point. And the baby toe mound. You're more than halfway. We have a nice breath practice after this, so you can go really dynamic, because you're gonna sit down and breathe. Less than a minute. Oh. Uh. 
in and out through the nose, the moans and groans when you need it. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bravo. Please sit down. Cross legged. Maybe something under you. We're going to do Sitali Pranayam. Choose your mudra, maybe it's Shin Mudra, Venus. You inhale through a curled tongue. Exhale, tongue in through the nose. Inhale, curled tongue. Exhale through the nose, continue. If you're not one of the 66% of humans that can curl your tongue, just do like a little opening and breathe that way in through the mouth out through the nose there's a special song for us This is a cooling breath. Good to do when there's fear, anger present, or when you're actually hot. This is a Sikh prayer. And the essence of it is the destroyer of suffering, ailments, and pain. So just know in your breath, you are possible to destroy what doesn't serve you. Find balance, grace, understanding, to know that it is an eternal dance, yin and yang, love and fear. So we calm the breath, we make peace, knowing this is part of this human incarnation. To not shut down when fear comes up, but to dance with it 
have nonviolent conversations with it. Your breath will guide the dialogue, guide the All right, beautiful breath in through your nose, beautiful breath out. Start to float your hands. And you're instructed to dance just with the upper body in your hand. Be inspired by the music, another version, the divine feminine version. fears to another universe. Celebrate that you love yourself enough to do this work. Open your eyes, find the mindful moment of seeing colors, textures. You can straighten your legs if it's more comfortable.
Maybe you isolate one hand, one finger. Reference to the heart. One minute. Find your conclusion. We celebrated, we danced with, and now we bow. So, if your knees can take it, kneel. Maybe there's a pillow under your knees. If your knees can't take it, just stay cross legged or your legs out. You inhale up for four, down for four, and continue. Song change. You inhale up, two, three, four, exhale down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, wait, five, six, two extra at the top, and down. Maybe the hands are on the floor or your thighs. Count to four, five, six is the extra. Maybe the heart beams. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Five, six. Exhale down. I will allow silence. This is that grace and that glory of you landing your ship to shore. Be gentle, consistent, deliberate, loving, compassionate. Make sure there's that little extra. It's like, oh, my heart is open to receive. <laughs> any fear, any lingering. Oh, 
सतना करता पुरख निरपो जूनी से जब आद सच जुगाद सच है भी सच नानक होसी सोचे सोच न हो वही जे सोची लख बार चुप चुप न हो वही जे लाए रह लिवतार भुखिया भुख न उतरी जे बन्ना पुरिया पार सहस सियाण पालख होए ता एक ना चले नाल किव सच्ची यारा होए किव कूड़े टुटे पार कुमर जाई चलना One minute to go Feel the timelessness when you're gentle and fierce with yourself Feel your capacity So much potential Hukum na kahe Breathe in, lift the torso up. Breathe out, comfortable seat. Inhale, hands in Venus lock. Exhale, over palms, fingers towards the occipital, the base of your crown. You gently lean back and energize your brain stem. Again, new pathways. This is our final exercise. Support your spine, support your brain, support your mind to reframe different perception. And there's a little bit of traction. Pull your spine upwards. Lean backwards. Make the effort to find a happy thought, a peaceful thought, a loving thought. Relax and release this fear. And when you have it, and when you feel it, when you can see it, you can melt into your Shavasana corpse pose. 
but make sure you've identified it. Maybe it's something you like to do, your own self-regulation, walks in nature, knitting, tea with a friend. Find the balance, the opposite of fear. Hold that vision and then relax. And you got it. Into your corpse. You have any props under knees, under head, over eyes? There's any intuitive movement before you relax, do that. But what is it like to just surrender and let the body be with itself? Let every gland, organ, be embraced by Mother Gaia. Follow the breath. And feel the love. So proud of you. Breathe in. Out the mouth. Ride the natural ebb and flow. Feet wider than hips. Fingers naturally curl. Or maybe on the torso. Enjoy. Mat vich ratna 
जवाहर मान जेक गुर के सिख सुनी गुराइक दे बुझाई सब नाजिया का एक दाता सोमे विसर If your body yearns to relax more, by all means, stay in your shavasana. Those of us returning, bring awareness to this space that you're in, the sacred space of your consciousness and the sacred space of your physical. Bring awareness to your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay with this full mindful breath. Feel the bones, the muscles. Allow your fingers to be curious. And to feel texture of the floor, your fabric of clothes. Returning with grace, returning with love over fear. The love you have for your body, the love of being curious to want to be present. the love of your spine, your neck that rocks right to left. Inhale, arms stretch overhead. Exhale, leave them there. Walk the feet up to bent knees. Roll to lay in fetus on your side towards me. Breathe gratitude into your lower back, into those kidneys. Feel them glow, resilient functions to process toxins, yes, fear, yes, and all sorts of other metabolic magic. Mm. Feel gratitude for your body, for your breath, for this modality. Eyes opened or closed, use your hands to press up. Comfortable seat, the hands right away float to sandwich the heart. Maybe there's something else on the altar now, something that fear transformed into. It could be an idea, it could be a conversation to have with someone, a new hobby. Fear can translate into wanting to demonstrate a new value. Whatever it is, I raise you up. And I offer love for you to embody your potential. Inhale, hands to prayer, thumb to sternum. We close with sat nam. Feel the sat at the root. Guide it up, sat nam. Out to the cosmos, but also back down. Three times, followed by a bow forward. Breathe in. Sat Nam Sat Nam to third eye, exhale, bow, honor yourself, honor the potential, 
Again, I'm Robert Halley, pleasure to serve and to guide. There is great love here for you. Feel your completion. Be receptive to the inner guidance and the outer wisdom. Thank you.